Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know, just randomly decided to click on my video. Welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction. And originally, I was diving into more um, B B2B um, content because um, they're one of my two boy bands of the month. And I wanted to continue their journey through the Kingdom Legendary War competition. Um, but when I looked, I was looking for the next episode. I'm like, I can't find anything. Why can't I find anything from them? So then I went to Wikipedia to see, okay, what was the breakdown for this week? And it seems like, okay, the first couple episodes, all of the bands were performing just like as the bands themselves. And then now we're kind of like splitting into these subunits where we're mixing the band members and like okay that's why i could not find anything for b2b because we're splitting them all up all over the place so i've actually already reacted to one of these performances um down here the vocal units um for mayfly which was jung ho yun kwong and sung min and they were doing love poem that was actually the first kingdom performance i think i've ever reacted to on the channel um and it was absolutely stunning um so now I'm just going to dive into the other performances from the other subunits. So right now we're going to dive into the, which unit are we in? The rap units. Um, and it looks like it's split into two groups. Um, one group, which is It's One, which consists of members from Icon, The Boys, and SF9. And then Mayfly, which consists of members of AT, Stray Kids, and B2B. So right now we're going to drive into the rap units um, performance on this episode where they're performing Colors. I don't know whose song this is exactly, um, but it's featuring Hong Jung of ATs, Bang Chan, Cheng Bin, and Han of Stray Kids, and Min Hyuk of B2B. So we're just going to dive in and see what magic all of these delicious men on the same stage are going to bring to me. Lord, be still my heart. some bear with that hair. Hey! Shane, you better... Recently, Chang Binge has been doing something for me. He's been making me feel some type of way, and this is this ain't helping. I love him. I love his attitude. Ah! I know that not saying Rick and Morty, but all I'm hearing is Rick and Morty! Rick and Morty! I know that's not what they're saying, but that's what my ears are hearing. And then here's Han just out here assassinating. I want all of those paintings for my wall, please and thank you. Baseline. 
Ah, Rick and Marty, Rick and Marty, Rick and Marty. Rick and Marty, Rick and Marty, Rick and Marty, Rick and Marty. I was wondering where Ben Hook was. Okay, I'm sorry. I was gonna say that can't be the end. I feel like a bass drop about to happen. Ah! Ah! Oh, that is gorgeous. See, that's a fine ass boy band right there too. I love the energy of this performance. I have not a damn idea what the song's about. I, I don't know that <laughs> there weren't English translated or were there captions and I just didn't turn them on. No, there's no captions. Okay, I'm not crazy. Okay, so I don't know what the song's about. I don't care. Um, I love the energy of this performance. The visuals go without saying because everything that I've seen on this Kingdom Legendary Wars competition has been visually stunning. They have a budget. They have a budget and they are making the most of this budget. Um, it feels similar to like when I first reacted to the singer competition over in China a couple years back. Same thing there where it's like, it's just a different level of competition where it's like, okay, these are all established artists, but just the competition itself has such a grandiose stage and such grandiose lighting and they have a budget to put on these just larger than life performances where it's not just, okay, yeah, we're just gonna have a couple people come and they're gonna sing and it's gonna sound pretty. Like, no, they give you top tier level performances and it is just so visually stunning so all of the all of the um, projection work that they had in the background all of the painting all of the dance like it was just beautiful to look at so visually stunning um, and then like I said the energy coming from each of them was just so damn good I don't know why Bang Chan was in this group um, because he wasn't really rapping he was doing this sort of um talk singing stuff with a lot of like audio effects on his voice um which it provides this nice break um in the song so like it wasn't all just like rap 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 like it was a nice little sort of like melodic break to kind of switch it up a little bit um but it wasn't really rapping so i don't know the original song maybe the original song has that sort of like melody singing line throughout the choruses and that's why we brought um bang chan into this um but yeah, other than that, like, he, was, he wasn't really rapping, so I don't know why he was including this whole rap unit thing. But I mean, I'll include Bang Chan anywhere, because y'all know he's my bias. Y'all know he's my Stray Kids bias, so he, he can be anywhere he wants to, I don't care. Um, but yeah, outside of that, like, all the other guys who were, like, actually rapping, so damn good, and just different energy, different styles. Um, Cheng Bin was just, like, balls to the wall, pow, 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 rapid fire, bam, 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 straight out the gate, and I'm like, oh boy slay my life um if you've watched any of my more recent stray kids reactions um especially since i went to the concert back in june the um maxton no not maxton concert the ordinary ordinary tour uh maniac ever since i went to that concert like i've said like i've just had this greater appreciation for chang bin like there's just something about seeing him live that there's just this energy about him that's just very magnetic and it my eyes just get drawn to him and i find myself being drawn to him more and more recently the things i see online or things that i react to blah, blah blah i just find my eyes gravitating to him more and more so like he just has this just energy about him where it's just like damn this man is dope this man is so good and i'm not even talking about the fact that he's fine as fuck like we're putting that aside but if you want to talk about it, yeah, it's fine as well. Um, but yeah, putting that aside, he just has this energy about him that's just very magnetic. Um, 
so like his rap style was very just like kind of rapid fire in this song and i was like boy slay and then we transitioned into hong jun who was a little or did we go into some was han before hong jun no i think hong, hong jun was first either way hong jun had a little bit more of like a playful approach to um his rap style it wasn't quite as like pow pow rapid fire powerful it was a little bit more playful and ha <laughs> like just attitude snarky kind of whatever and I, I like that um and then we transition over to Han who's just like this rap assassin we know this he just has this attitude this swagger about him and it's just like oh my god mm, magically delicious and then Min Hyuk you know slinks out because I've spent the whole performance like wondering like where the hell is Min Hyuk because like I've seen everybody else a number of times throughout this performance and I know when I was looking at the Wikipedia like it said he was in this performance so I'm like where the hell is he so I'm like maybe maybe I had it wrong maybe he was sick I don't know what's going on and then he's like no I'm just making a grand entrance okay you got to see everybody else now I'm just gonna make a grand entrance open the doors for me I'm like oh lord praise Jesus how you doing and he again he just had this like very powerful energy about him where it's like okay he's just got command of this stage and it's like oh god just such a, a dynamic electrifying kind of performance love it again no idea what the song's about no idea what they were saying and i don't care it was just a great performance to witness so i, I thoroughly enjoyed myself here i don't know exactly how um they were being scored and let's see wikipedia it says the unit performances were evaluated by a total of 33 special judges who voted on site to decide which unit won each round rap dance and vocal the special judges included super junior members uh, producers and ceo of bnm rhymer idol hit maker and da -da -da, production okay so it doesn't really tell me much about how they were so we're judging each unit okay it looks like according to wikipedia the mayfly unit won each one of these categories so mayfly came first for the rap unit i haven't seen the other unit i honestly don't know any of the other bands or yeah any other bands who were in those units um so i don't know whether or not that's justified or warranted i'll see at some point i'll, I'll get into them too uh, but yeah so mayfly won the rap they took first in the dance and they took first in the vocals um so I, all i have left out of those three sections is to dive into the dance um unit which will consist of lino felix and i n wu young san yun ho yasong and song hua and peniel so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna dive into that right now or i might save that for a little bit later in the week i don't know to wait and see by the way i thoroughly enjoyed this and i hope you guys enjoyed this as well if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways excuse me you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. If you'd like to check out more of my either AT's reactions, um, Stray Kids reactions, or B2B reactions, you can check out my AT's reaction playlist, my Stray Kids reaction playlist, or my B2B reaction playlist. The links to all of those will be down in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya!